Thank you very much for all of your lovely art as well. Some of it, some of it a little lewd. Uh, to to, tho to those of you, to those of you drawing me with horses, um, y'all are into some fucked up shit, and I hope you get, <laughs> I hope you get the help you need. I re I really truly, I hope I hope you get the help you need. Not a sin. I cannot absolve you. Mega based. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in favor of uh, execution. Maybe, maybe our entire team needs to be executed after tonight. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Andrew Esquire, here uh, traveling again. So it's the Airbnb mindset. Uh, but hope you guys are doing well. Uh, you can hear me all right. I got my mic off to the side, so hopefully it picks me up all right. I'm trying to be kind of loud, and the room's a little echoey. Uh, but hopefully you guys are uh, doing all right out there. Good to see everybody in the chat. 456 of you uh, here today. Thanks for being patient with me. I'm trying to figure out... This is a small table, so I'm trying to figure out the best possible setup, right? And, you know, there you go. And, you know, I got my microphone. It's like over here. And, you know, it's, I can kind of get it. There you go. That's that's a little closer. So we'll try to get that. We'll try to get that all right. But, yeah, Airbnb Mindset is back <laughs> and doing very well. And I really appreciate Hey, thanks for all those that reached out, uh, all those that are doing uh, – all those that, that said, hey, what's up, and sent me good articles – um, you know, I, I just, I want to say, appreciate that. Oh, so today we're going to have a fun one. Um, and, and we're going to go through three main things. Number one, congratulations. Uh, then we're going to hit the, um, webtoon contract issue and then the hell divers contract, which is pure fun and, and pure, uh, entertainment. Uh, I definitely will clip out the, um, I definitely will clip out the hell divers contract to make that it's its own thing. Cause I'm sure that's going to get a lot of, uh, a lot of laughs to, you know, lawyer reacts to hell divers contract. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Um, but yeah, this is my travel setup. Um, also I am moving apartments very, very soon. I'm moving very soon. So one of the reasons why you haven't seen me on YouTube is not just because I'm traveling, but I am also apartment hunting. So that's why uh, I really I did that members only stream, but it's been a while since I actually had a stream because I'm searching for new apartments, searching for new places. My landlord is already very upset uh, that I that I'm leaving. You know, she's very sad because I'm a good tenant who pays ahead of time, which is kind of hilarious. Um, you know, oftentimes I'll just give her two months of rent up front because she's a good landlord. I have no problems, answers all my issues. So, um, so yeah, that's why I've been a little bit uh, around. So between traveling and apartment hunting. And so for the next couple of days, you can expect kind of the same thing. I'll also be in Boracay, uh, Philippines, um, in like a couple of days. So, uh, I'll be live from the beach. Uh, so we'll, we'll do one. We'll do one, but, uh, from I'll be streaming from there too, but just understand it'll be very casual, very light, just, just relax stuff. Once again, I, I try not to burn myself out. I try to keep a good pace of production. Um, so, you know, yeah. And, and guys like gremlin milk said, we are at one forty four K. So shout out to you guys. Absolutely. 100%. Not a sin. I cannot absolve you. Mega based. We are almost at 150. Thank you guys for making this happen. It is not without the, the gracious support, the big support of VTubers. Also, shout out to the Philippine pesos here. And that's going to it's gonna get me my uh, pay for my water here, my, uh, my Wilkins Pure. <laughs> but yeah, um, definitely thank you so much. Appreciate you guys getting me almost to 150K. So do appreciate that uh, 100%. Um, Jim Blade says, I have no idea what's going on here or where I am or who you are. Tonight is a drinking night for some reason. I've had way not, too much Norwegian mead. Well, I don't know what the cheers in Norwegian is, but cheers to you, uh, you know, with your Norwegian mead. I love mead. So I imagine Norwegian mead is good. I mean, if it powered the, uh, the ravagings of the Vikings, I think it's good enough, right? So, yeah, cheers. Is it is it Skull? Is Skull the, the, the cheers there? Skull, Skull, Skull. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Skull. All right, cool, cool. So Skull to my Norwegian brothers and sisters. Okay. Um, and then we got Sophie who says, do you have a butter dish? Please show it. Hail the 199. A butter dish. 
what I do have is the most ghetto setup because this um, this Airbnb uh, in the Philippines it doesn't have the right it doesn't have the American plugs you know so the American plug is the three prong right it's only got the two prong so for example my charger that looks like this is just fine right it's two prong but my grounded laptop has to go into this cabinet here. Let me pull this down, actually. Let me show you. So it has to go into this cabinet. So there's there's a cord leading into this cabinet right here uh, because that's the only one with a grounded outlet. These are traveling problems. <laughs> and what's going on, everybody, uh, here hanging out in the chat and also shout out to the 199 and all those supporting me from other communities uh, because you guys are absolutely based. But shouting out to my community, I also want to give some big love to Tinkerlin who upgraded to the BLM, the base legal mindset level of membership. Appreciate you. Thank you for that, Tinkerlin, uh, for upgrading your membership. Um, all right. So let's get into it. So the first thing I want to get into here is the um well this is just another niji thing you know what is it like there's never a day without niji drama so here's just the funny part about this so you've got niji sanji en over here you know of course our favorite company with the congratulations now remember what makes this funny what makes this truly hilarious is that they're paying their translators seven dollars and 40 cents an hour so what makes this hilarious is they are literally playing high schoolers to translate things at minimum wage and this is what they get this is exactly what you get when your translators are paid minimum wage this is mwah, perfect <laughs> yeah even the ai even the unpaid ai slaves can still do better right you know, the AI is going to rise up with incompetence of this level from its human masters. Um, people say it's kind of cute. Look, it's it's funny. I will give this. It's funny. It's funny because it's so bad. It's so bad. It's like, did you really not even check this? Uh, the minimum wage in, in, uh, in Japan uh, is essentially convertible over to seven dollars and 40 cents an hour it's 1113 yen right so one and different um different pre prefectures are different let me just convert this yen to usd so it's actually yeah seven dollars and 33 cents so let me show you guys real quick so the right here yeah so this is the minimum wage the minimum wage right here Boom. 733. So that's what they're being paid. That's what they're being paid. That's why they screw these things up. Now, I, I love what I love is I saw so many of the Niji Sanji stands getting so butthurt about this. I saw people coming at um, Kyo and False and some other people that post. This is actually Kyo's, um, Kyo's post here that I'm just like throwing up. Um, but th this this is something that triggered a lot of people because I think the Niji sisters are finally I don't know I think they're finally getting they're getting uh they're getting they're getting too much to handle right they're just they're just lashing out and it's really hilarious because they have nothing to say about the actual substance of hey couldn't Niji have done this better which I think is a fair argument right like Niji as a company could have paid somebody to do a professional translation or done a second check or done a backup or whatever else, you know, done a secondary, um, a secondary look at this could have vetted this a little bit better. Right. And that doesn't take that much, but of course that's too much for Niji, right? It's too much for Niji to do that, uh, at all. Uh, they just had to do that. So yeah, it was very hilarious seeing people, um, freak out about it. I'm not going to give them too much I'm not going to give any of the individuals that like attacked, for example, false or anybody else, uh, too much airtime, but yeah, it, people are getting, people are getting real butthurt. The Niji sisters are getting real butthurt about this, but Niji's doing it to themselves. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're just a startup guys. Niji Sanji is just a startup. What the fuck? 
Matrix, thank you for the five Legal Mindset memberships. Appreciate you very much for that. Uh, thank you for being good support of this channel. Appreciate you coming back by. Thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by again. I'm much better, by the way, Matrix. I know you're very concerned about my health. So thank you for donating the memberships. I'm feeling better. Uh, I'm doing good. So thank you for that. Lots of rest, lots of relaxation, lots of sunshine here in Manila. It's one of the uh, hottest um, hottest months uh, in the Philippines and in Thailand too as well. I was back in Thailand as well. Uh, but yeah, very hot, hot stuff, super hot. Um, Dr Shadow Knight. One nine uh, 1990 says my brain auto spell check the Niji thing. The first few times I saw that image. So I wonder what was going on with it a bit. Yeah, no, I, I mean, everybody who saw this image and people were like, Oh my God, what has Niji done now? I think some people were looking in the image and weren't reading it. So they were like not understanding that the issue was with the, um, with the text. They were like, wait, is it, is it the fact that Luca's in there or Vox or somebody or Uki, right? No, 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 no. I mean, those are funny facts, but the real issue, the real issue is the text. Judon, my soul, greater than congratulations. It's true. It's true. Uh, Mario Trujillo says, I love Japanese companies are so cheap. Stay based. Yes, they're, they, they're too, they just, they, they are unnecessarily cheap. Like it's not needed. For them to be this cheap, and yet they are, and yet they are. Jen Blades with five legal mindset memberships. Thank you so much for supporting. Appreciate that, Jen Blades. You guys supporting me helps me do this on a regular basis and come to you, even when I'm traveling. You know, making time to uh, come out and come to you guys. So let's seriously appreciate that. And also, Jay's in the chat for Jen Blade. Uh, if you got a free membership there, so get that gift. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A uh, black sheep boy for fifty Philippine pesos says. This is giving Shinji Ikari congratulations and <laughs> as long as it comes with a hundred percent less coom, because since Uki's involved, I don't want to be anywhere near a Shinji Uki crossover. That is absolutely disgusting. Fighting monkey, I mean, just saying, just saying. Shinji X Uki is a lot of bad times. A lot of bad times. Um, also, big ups to Nikki P becoming a member. Thank you so much, Nikki, for joining uh, at the replay gang level. Appreciate you joining. Uh, you have access to uh, the replays as well as the emojis. So start using those. And Hayden, what's up, Hayden? For two says more Kurosanji Max Clash. They are, yeah, they're not doing great. In fact, let's actually look here. So now that we've seen that, let's actually look any color. Where's our stock at? I actually genuinely do not know. Okay, so let's go to the five-day chart. Okay. Well, we'll go to the one-month chart. That's actually better. The one-month chart is better. Okay. So they're kind of fucked. Uh, let's go to the one-month chart. This is kind of bad. All right. Here's the any color stock, right? So uh, I used to be up here in the 3,000s. Now we're pretty much hanging down here near 2,400, 2,300. You know, they, they hit sort of like a bear cycle now. Not looking good for Chris. Look at that six-month chart. God damn, that looks bad. That is rough. That is real rough. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a financial analyst. Once again, hashtag not financial advice. Do I still have this? Oh, no, I have... Chat can be wrong. Hold on. Let me do this. Hashtag not financial advice. I just got to keep this one. Keep this one scrolling like permanently at some points because this one is very important. Yeah, not financial advice, but they're headed in a direction. And that direction is down, down, down. Setsuna F. Saye. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu, Setsuna, for the five Legal Mindset memberships. Appreciate that. Thank you for being absolutely 100%. Not a sin. I cannot absolve you. Mega based. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Appreciate you, Setsuna. Mark says, it should not be okay for the MB company to not hire better translators or even train the ones they get to meet a certain level of quality. It's a basic thing. And why didn't they correct this immediately? See, here's the problem. Nobody that saw that chose to update the thumbnail. That This is the real, think about that. Nobody in that company was closely paying attention enough 
to say, you know, we should update that thumbnail because let me, let me give an example. Let me give an example. I put the wrong time on this stream. I accidentally, when I first set it up, put 11 30 PM instead of AM. Then I changed it to 11 40 because I wanted to go to the store and get some water. Cause I want to make sure my throat was in parts where I'm speaking. And, um, my mod, Danielle, shout out to Danielle. She's right here pimping my locals, right? Danielle told me, D's in the chat for Danielle, by the way. She's so super hardworking. I really appreciate her. She's great. She's been with me forever. Thank you, Danielle. Um, she told me within two minutes that, hey, your, your stream has the wrong time, right? What, someone should tell you at a certain point. Like if nobody is bothering to tell you, right? And Danielle's not paid. Michi Sanji is a company and they're paying these motherfuckers. They're paying them. And nobody is saying shit. Look at all these D's. Look at all these D's. D's out for Danielle. Lots of D here. Lots of D here. Danielle's getting the D's today. All right. So the, the thing is they're paid. They're a company and they're not. And they're literally not having anybody to tell them. Are you fucking kidding me? If Niji Sanji is running their, their multi-billion dollar corporation in a more shitty way than my streams, I, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you, Kura Sanji. Like, if you, you have millions of dollars and you can't even get somebody to correct you. That's pretty sad. That's pretty sad. Oh, man. Yeah. I I do usually blame Canva. I use Canva as well. I use Canva for all my thumbnails. Canva is a great uh, tool. I love Canva. It's great. Um, but you can't blame Canva. <laughs> a human has to create the thing with Canva. Uh, Dulcet says, big surprise. Hold on. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Why is this lagging? Well, one second. Okay. Big surprise. Black Asian company does the bare minimum. Sound familiar, Yuki? Oh. <laughs> Fighting monkey. That's for Uki. 39 IQs in the chat for Uki. <laughs> does the bare minimum. Oh God! Zen Gunman says Niji Sanji blows my mind. Valued at two point five billion dollars, that barely just that should justify hiring American translators in a fluent English-speaking branch head for six figures. Yeah, and in you know there are small companies, <clears throat> Idol, that are doing it right on a fraction of the budget with a fraction of the funding, right? There are small companies doing it right on a fraction of a budget with a fraction of the funding. So what does that say about you as a larger company? That means that you are choosing not to do it because you don't give a fuck. The money had to go to Riku's 11th yacht. Yes. Yes. Uh, Going to need a Senzu for that B-mark. Yeah. <laughs> B-mark. Nice. But yeah, I mean, that's what it, but for real though. For real, though, it goes to profit-taking, clearly, and it goes to um, shareholder stock buybacks. That's where the money's going. It's not going into their company. This is why the company, look, regardless of what they do, this is why the, with the whole Doki Bird situation, the punishment will be the financial failure of that company when they get beat out in the market. Let them lose in the free market, which they will, by the way which they will. They are neither the first, the best, or even the cheapest because there's other companies that are more efficient than they are. They're running at a smaller budget, a tighter budget. So yeah, not looking good for Kurosanji. Black Sheep Boy said funds went to the SS translator. Yacht. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, all right. Let's get into our next topic, shall we? Uh, let's get into the Webtoon issue. Now, this is one that I was brought aware of by somebody tagging me on Twitter or on X. So thank you for um, tagging me. Appreciate that. I always appreciate when you guys bring stuff to my attention. I'll obviously cover it uh, when I can. Also, Locals is acting up. I don't know why Locals is acting up right now. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'll always cover stuff when I do get an opportunity uh, to do so. So. Right here, we've got this web 
Neptune issue. And it's a contractual issue, which I think is why someone brought it to my attention. And this is talking about uh, the Webtoon Originals contracts. So let's zoom in a little bit more here. I think that's, that's legible-ish. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, so I want to read through this with you guys and read through the issues here that they're describing for these Webtoon original uh, contracts. Now, to be very clear, oh, by the way, somebody asked me about Johnny Somali. I was going to play that clip. If I can find it, I'll play it later, but thank you. Uh, I'll save that. I'll save that one for later. Um, and welcome, all the raiders. Welcome, everybody who's raiding from wherever you're raiding from. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Is it Sparky? But appreciate all y'all coming over and rating. Um, so somebody brought this to my attention. Now, full disclosure, full disclosure, this does not mean this is the actual contract. I have not seen this contract in the flesh. Okay. So this is just somebody describing this. So we're going to we're going to go based on this description. But this could be totally bullshit. So I would love to see a webtoons original con contract and if somebody has their hands on an actual contract, please get that over to me. But in lieu of that, because we do not have that, we're going to have to deal with the read through here. Okay. So here we go. Webtoon originals contract. I was offered the originals deal a few months back and looked over it and thought it was extremely predatory. Okay, so starting off rip, this OP on Reddit. Uh, somebody says Neon has seen the Neon of Clownfish TV has seen the contract. I will message Neon and see if I can get that from him. If he's seen it, if he's got it. So already starting out with a conclusion. Now. I may ultimately agree with this based on the description or disagree with this. We'll see. I have experience in traditional comics, so I'm well-versed in rights and such. I couldn't believe what I was reading in my contract, so I contacted a few originals creators to see if the stuff in my contract was also in theirs. I was shocked and appalled at what I, was, at what I discovered. Basically, the Webtoons originals contract has evolved every year or so to become more and more predatory. These were the things in the contract offered to me, what I assume is the newest and most current contract. If I signed it, all of these clauses would apply to my comic in exchange for being an original series. The Webtoons would have automatically the ability to buy 100% of my IP. So they have an option on your IP. The, the right to buy is called an option. That's called an option. That's a little bit of legal education. By the way, I love the Niji sisters that were like, his channel says it's not legal advice and therefore it's all entertainment. No motherfuckers, it's legal education. And here's some education. <laughs> this shit is an option. This is called an option. They could buy your IP. Previous Webtoon original creators did not have this in their contract at all, so I believe it's a new thing. This is the, this is the danger here. Apparently, this is so if any series happens to do very, very well, Webtoon can just snatch it, uh, snatch out the entire IP from under the creator for a very low fee. That's fucked up. And unfortunately, this has happened to some creators. Webtoon would also own my, printing pub my print publishing rights. This was something that immediately stood out to me. I had to previously read some threat, some threads on Twitter by the original creators that talked about printing rights. And with my own experience in traditional publishing, I was shocked and angry to see this. Digital publishers should not have print publishing rights, only digital publishing rights. If you did not know, print publishing rights can be bought by publishers in a deal that can be anywhere but, uh, from five figures to six figures uh, in terms of dollars, U.S. dollars. So we're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, potentially on the line there. This means if I signed a Webtoons Originals deal, I would be giving away my print publishing rights to Webtoon for almost free. There is a clause that specified they would pay me $2K, $2,000 for automatic ownership of my printing rights, which is a huge ripoff. Are you fucking kidding me? $2,000. Okay, now I just want to be clear. 
look, and, and let me be very clear about this. I'm not trying to be a snob here. And, and look, I know for a lot of people, $2,000 is a lot of money. Okay. And, and it is a lot of money in a certain sense. Right. But for that, it's not, it's nothing, right. That is a, that is a joke, right. For, for receiving printing rights for $2,000, that is an absolute joke because with these rights, you can parse them up and you can sell different rights to different people, just like you can option a movie, right. Having a printing right that is pushed off for $2,000 is fucking nuts, is nothing for what that is. I mean, $2,000, no offense, but like that's eight hours of my time. Like, and, and my, my rates are pretty transparent. Anybody who's seen my consulting rates, right? That's my, my discounted rate at my discounted rate of $250 an hour. That's eight hours of my time. That's fucking ridiculous. You think that's how much time the artist put into that? That's, that's nuts. That's ridiculous. That's for that level of, of, you know, for a popular webtoon. No, it's, that's fucked up. It's fucked up. By the way, somebody said they're just joining. We are going over this post that is describing the Webtoons original contract. Now, once again, the full disclaimer, and I guess I'll do the I'll do the disclaimer here in a, in a banner. So let's say uh, this is purely an allegation. Uh, no, I'll just put this. I have not seen this contract. Once again, guys, I'm the man of full disclosure here. These other people are lying to you, but your boy legal mindset will always tell you when I have and have not seen something. This is one I have not seen. Now, trusting this is true, this is really bad. So already, I will say, based on just these two paragraphs, if these two paragraphs are true, this is predatory. This is absolutely predatory. Webtoon would own all of my merchandising rights, but, but by the way, but not illegal. So... One big difference with the um, with the contract with Niji Sanji in this contract is it's not illegal. So none of this stuff is illegal. It's not illegal to underpay for something. That's not necessarily illegal. So nothing so far that we've read in the first two paragraphs is like, oh, that's against the law. No, you're just really, really, really predatory. Webtoons is a Korean comic app. So once again, we have just like VNU, shout out to VNU, another corrupt, uh, corrupt Korean company. We've got another Eastern company that's behaving a little bit naughty. Let's continue. <clears throat> Webtoon would own the merchandising rights. Okay, there we go. All merchandising rights. So don't get to make a single dollar off of merchandising. You know how much money that is? That's the most lucrative bit if it's successful and you're not even giving them an option at merchandising rights. That's fucked up. Webtoons would be my agent for print publishing and multimedia. This is highly unethical. An agent is supposed to be a third party with your best interest in mind. If Webtoon is my digital publisher and agent, it could sell my rights to another one of its branches like the Webtoon Watt. Uh, Wattpad portion of the company that prints books, cutting me a crappy deal that keeps costs down and paying me as little as possible. This is absolutely what they would do. And anybody who's familiar with Korea should also understand what a chebol is. A chebol is, right? Um, and chebol is really referring to the families, right? So you have these families in Korea that own a vast number of companies. Many of them are like unrelated, but what you need to watch out for is when you have a, a one of these chables, these larger companies that owns these corporations and they sell it to a related corporation, but it's not linked in the normal corporate way. It's not a true subsidiary. Okay. So like, for example, for example, Lucasfilm and Marvel are actual subsidiaries of Disney. They're actual companies that are underneath Disney, right? There's their branches within Disney. These chables are just the family members that own a controlling interest in the other company. So technically, on paper, they're not linked. This is how in Korea, these families own, like somebody said, entire cities. They own entire industries. It's insane it's modern nobility somebody said modern aristocracy yes samsung hanwa uh, lotte a lot of these big ones are chibbles so just something to understand and this is korea 
that's the way Korea is. I'm going to tell it the way it is. I love a lot of things about Korea, by the way. Love Korean food, love Korean women, love Korean style, uh, like the spring in Korea. I like the ondol, the heater in the houses. I like a lot, a lot of things I love about Korea. Chables are not great. Now, they were great a long time ago to develop Korea. So when Korea was an undeveloped company, they helped develop Korea quickly. But the problem is the corruption seeped in, and now they, they really need to be broken up. They need like some antitrust where they break all these up and you know spin them off and let people that are um, that are independent, right? Uh, run these companies because there's no true competition. Everything is the same, right? Very important factors here. Um, Mar Mario says Japanese companies should approach fan translators, which are privately funded and say, here's a license. We'll pay royalties. They'd say so much money, but their egos never allow it. They will never do that. They would Mario. They would never do that. That, that would be seen as bending the knee to the dirty, the dirty translators, a lot of which are gaijin. So they're not going to do that. Archlord Dune Rider for five says, speaking of Neon, he and other YouTubes are covering Bridge 2.0. I keep sharing your previous stream with Kirsha. Yeah, shout out to Kirsha. Kirsha has been doing the Lord's work, getting that out there. And guess what? All of that started, all of this stuff talking about Bridge started with Kirsha. I started with her coming on my stream. And as soon as she came on my stream, she started getting all these other appearances. And I'm like, I'm like, hey, dude, that's awesome. Shout out to Kirsha. She's a hard worker. She's a smart girl. She's not crazy. People try to call her the Alex Jones, but <laughs> Alex Jones sometimes is right. Base Foxu is right. And I'm just going to say right now. Not a sin. I cannot absolve you. Mega based. Big shout out to Kirsha. Much love to Kirsha. She's a great person to talk to, too. She's a very reasonable person. Like, our conversations we have behind the scenes, I may seem like she's unhinged when she's on screen, but we have, like, really good based conversations off screen. So I just want to say it's really great. Speaking of another based girl out there who may or may not uh, have some ears, that's Lydia. How Lydia. How's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you. Always love to see the cat girls in the chat. Cat girl emojis in the chat for Lydia. Appreciate you. All right, let's continue with this. So not only were these clauses highly unethical, but the pay offered to me was also severely lacking. In conclusion, I'm still shocked and angry about the contract and saddened every time a new original, Webtoon original, deal is announced because I know the creator is basically given up on all their rights just for an opportunity to be in originals. Though I had heard you can argue some of the clauses out if you have a lawyer on hand, probably if you're in Korea and you have a Korean lawyer, I imagine, and can afford one, but not many creators do. I was told that it wasn't always this way, and it started in last year or after they hired some guy from Hollywood to deal with all the IP stuff at Webtoon. I hope that if enough creators push back on these predatory contracts, Webtoon will, will reconsider the clauses. Finally, good luck and get some lawyers if you want to become an original series. Guys, they, we've got the best lawyer on the case, and legal mindset, of course. Uh, hopefully, we can get the word out on this, guys. I'm going to try to clip this out so we can spread the word. But go out there, spread the word about the Webtoons contract, and tell them this is not cool. This is not all right. Let's get some bad PR to make things move in the right direction. I think that's always a good thing. I think that's always something that can be uh, positive. So let's get some bad PR rolling against these guys in order to uh, make sure that they move it in the right direction. I absolutely do believe this, by the way, um, this post. Now, of course, I haven't read the contract, but I do find it to be fairly credible. This sounds like what a company would try to do. It, it sounds pretty consistent. It sounds pretty consistent. Lawyers from Hollywood, baby. Pink Rose for uh, five. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy says there have been cases of fan translators being hired. Some even got their private previous work published by Japanese light novel translation companies. Well, that that's that's great, right? That's exactly what we want to see: is fans getting hired to do what they love, to be streaming and and doing what they are. Sorry, not <laughs> streaming. To be translating and translating in a way that they love, that they appreciate, in order to um, you know have fun. Enjoy themselves. So, yeah. I um, think I got all the stuff there. So that's what we got for that. Find that pretty credible. Find that pretty credible. Let me pull up the – I had it pulled up earlier because I think somebody sent me this. Um, the Johnny Somali Israel stuff. 
Uh, okay, let me pull this up. I think I've got this one uh, rolling on X. Let's see. Let me see. I can find this. Johnny, somebody asked about this, and I want to pull this up. Because this one is actually kind of kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. Um, hmm. I had it pulled up a second ago. Weird. I think someone tagged me in it. But <clears throat> did Rev do it? Maybe Rev did something on it. So let me pull that up real quick. Because if Rev did something, I'll just pull Rev's video. Hmm. But the one thing about uh, Johnny Somali, and for those that haven't heard me comment on this, I comment a lot this on my other channel on um, – on, um, so this guy, Johnny Somali, has been fucking around in Asia for a long time. And the problem is, is that this guy is making a really bad name for foreigners in Asia, right? So – this guy, this is, he's over here, Johnny Somali, right? He's on, uh, this is a red video. Um, he fucked around in Japan, right? And he ended up getting a criminal charge in Japan and getting deported from Japan. And, and as far as I know, I don't think he can enter Japan for the next five years. But now this dumb motherfucker has decided to go to Israel, a country which, once again, like, I'm not trying to get political here, but, like, I think we can all agree you don't fuck around in, in Israel either, right? That's not a country where you're going to fuck or go get away with a lot of fuckery, right? So he went over here. Let's see if I can find the clip. I think it's over here. Uh, here it is. Yeah. So he starts hitting on a, he goes really predatory and starts hitting on a, a female IDF soldier. And this is where he gets in a lot of trouble. Let me see if I can play this here. I haven't watched this video. So I think, I think he should get into it here. Make for a good clip to go viral. Unfortunately, he would get just that, but with a different clip where he is harassing a female police officer Sex. and it will backfire very quickly. Yeah. And let me be, okay. Yeah. And also somebody in the chat clarified this, uh, sexually harassing, not hitting on, it's not flirting with the girl, right? This is harassment. I agree with that as well. Right. This is, this is, see, there's a line and the line is a lot. It's a lot of it is your intention, right? And this is harassment for sure. He didn't fuck around. He fucked around in Thailand, but not to the same level as ice Poseidon ice Poseidon. Ice Poseidon fucked around in Thailand and he got jailed. His buddy got jailed. His buddy probably got uh, clapped in the butt cheeks in jail. Not him, but Ice Poseidon's like Indian buddy probably got his cheeks clapped in jail. Um, and then Ice Poseidon had to flee the country. He had to come to a settlement agreement and flee the country. So he had to pay money and get out. Right. So I, I'm pretty sure ice cannot come back to uh, Thailand. I actually saw ice Poseidon in Thailand. I also saw Johnny Somali in Thailand. I almost punched the guy, but I was busy. Yeah. And also I don't do violence. So, you know, but still, I, I don't like seeing these people making a bad name for uh, America, making a bad name for foreigners. It's really, it's embarrassing. It's fucking embarrassing. And they're morons. Right. I think soldiers carry rifles in Israel off duty. I, I believe so. I haven't been to Israel, so I wouldn't know. It's one country I haven't been to. I've been to a lot of countries, not Israel. Einhander for Funf says he did manage to find the only guy with a man bun I respect while he was in Japan, the guy who knocked him the fuck out. <laughs> Natasha said, how long until Somali finally finds out? Well, we're about to see. So let's play this video here uh, from Israel. So let's give this a watch. <laughs> Oh, you a bad bitch. I swear to God. You a bad bitch. I take you to dinner. I swear to God. I swear to God. I change your life. I change your life, baby. Baby, I change your life. I promise you. You a bad bitch right here. I change your life, baby girl. You ain't got to work for these niggas no more. Bitch, I change your life. I'm on the sidewalk. I'm in the sidewalk.
This was the moment. <laughs> this was the moment any reasonable go. person would Here have walked away. You can see things are escalating very quickly. He could have gotten away with this. Yep. He could have walked away. But no, Johnny Somali in the pursuit of content would continue to escalate this situation it's super until cringe. we get this right here. I'm in the sidewalk. I'm in the sidewalk. What is it? Okay, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Okay, let's go. We're alive. We're alive. Well, look at the look and like, guys, are you listening to the noises that are coming out of this guy's fucking mouth? Like, he is so stupid. And like the noises and the, the the things he is saying during this, and it only gets dumber, by the way. It only gets dumber. But this is peak idiocy. Peak idiocy. Like, what? let's listen to this. America. I'm in the fellow. I'm from America. What are you doing? Okay, Karen, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going, nigga. What the fuck? Stream it. Film it. Oh, yeah, I, I, I don't I don't think these people are your ninjas. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, let's continue. Oh shit. What am I gonna do? America! I'm from America. I'm He's saying right there, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. So so as if by the way, um, as a person who's been around the world here, um saying you're from America is not a get out of jail free card from Monopoly. It's not like a Oh, you can just say you're American and they let you go. That's absolutely not. In fact, I would absolutely recommend that you do not say you're American until you have to. It's not probably going to do well for you. Don't try to, like you saying I'm from America is probably not going to get you out of this scenario. Just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, man. We do not recognize him. We do not claim this fool. Unfortunately, he's got an American passport. I love that. The attractive IDF female soldier has more testosterone to the, than this guy. I love it. Uh, also, Chaos Smash says, you missed a chance, you fool. Big shout out to my last uh, thumbnail with Excalibur. Fools. Uh, Rayton says those boys aren't worth beating up. You're right. You're right. And, and honestly, guys, it, the, the whole violence stuff, that's really a joke. Hashtag no violence, right? Not legal advice, no violence. Um, do not engage in that, especially in other countries. There's no uh, self-defense and other stuff like that. So you're, you're going straight to jail, right? If you uh, engage in physical violence in another country. So yeah, not worth it for sure. Agree. Shoy Rose says, can, Jolly, can Johnny Somali be supported from the USA? Can he get exiled? No, but he can be sent to jail. It, it's possible he could be jailed. Now, he would have to commit a crime in the United States, but they could argue that some of the stuff he's putting over the internet is hate speech, possible, right? Because what he's saying, he's saying a lot of bigoted stuff. Like, and, and a lot of the stuff that Johnny Somali says is openly bigoted. So, yeah, it's it's a problem. It's a big problem. The guy's got negative 39, 39 IQ. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, Matrix says... Um, Yes, Andrew, I've looked for you and expressed concern for you. Seeing you right now fills my heart with joy and happiness. You're on fire. Thank you so much, Majors. Appreciate that. Yeah, just, you know, apartment hunting, traveling, so don't worry about it. I'm not going to be streaming every day. I will not be streaming every day. It'll be more like every other day and uh, maybe every three days, but uh, but I will be streaming, so don't worry. I'm not going to – I'm not quitting anywhere. Your boy's not going anywhere. We're not shutting down the studio. We're here. We're not going anywhere. We're loving it. We're still covering the, the best issues. And one of the better things about taking a couple days is I have really good news stories to cover for you guys. There you go. Chaos Smash says, those aren't ninjas you're looking for, my ninja. Hello. 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 And, you know, we were talking about urban youth that were raiding the, the Amazon drones and how the urban youth would take out the, the Amazon drones. It's actually, it's actually quite funny. Uh, it's great. It's great. It's great. Uh, Hypnotic says, I have a phase connect clip. Well, email it to me, bro. Andrew Esquire live at gmail.com. Yeah. Uh, Jesus, every second I hear this idiot utter a single word, I lose a brain cell. It's true. 
It's true. I shudder to think that he causes World War III. It, it, the problem is, World War III jokes aside, what's actually worse is many, um, many people will have a bad impression of America based on this guy's behavior, right? So based on this guy's behavior, uh, many people will have a bad impression of America. I just realized I have like 20 minutes and then I have to go, uh, I have to go look for, look at, a, look at an apartment. So, uh, so I'm going to make sure we move to this kind of quick uh, here and let's, let's play the rest of this. I'm from America. Stop. I'm from America. We do not claim you, Johnny Somali. Do not use the name of America to try to save yourself, buddy. You did this to yourself. Yes. Now, hilariously, there's actually another angle of the Johnny Somali so arrest here in Israel. It is absolutely hilarious. We have multiple POVs of Johnny Somali being not only taken away in first person perspective, but also from a side perspective right here that made for the thumbnail of this video and a hilarious shot of Johnny Somali getting carried away like a little baby. Let's see this right here. So there's there he is initially getting taken. And you can tell he's kind of resisting. And eventually they just scoop him up. <laughs> what a what a little chode. That's embarrassing, dude. Bro. That is embarrassing. But when when they can pick you up like a little baby and carry you like that, bro. I'm sorry. Like that's manlet status for real, for real. That is manlet status for real, for real. Um, okay. Let's get to some of these super chats and we'll see where we're at. Einander says, I hope he enjoys multiple cavity searches. Oh yes. He's definitely not going to be treated uh, lightly. We'll say that. Mitchie Laudi says, I would love to see Somali go to China, my home country, uh, and try to pull that stuff and say, I'm from America. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Do that in China or even like Laos or like somewhere like Myanmar. Like go to go to some countries where like they really don't give a shit. Go to the Maldives, right? And like fuck around with some of their rules. Go to Saudi Arabia and do that. Go to fucking Iran and do that. Go to Iraq and do that. Motherfucker will be literally a, um, you know, a prison kebab before we know it, if you know what I'm saying. Um Harianto Halim says, can we congratulate Johnny Somali now for being the most idiotic person by saying I'm American, bro? Seriously, seriously. I mean, and my, my Indonesian brother over here gets it. Like if I was up in, if I was up in Bali acting like a fool or in Jakarta acting like a jackass, right? Jack and ass in Jakarta, right? The last thing I'm going to say is I'm an American. I, the first thing I'm going to say is I'm sorry, right? That will work. You may, if you are genuinely sorry, that may work. Also, bribing may work, but not I'm an American. Being like, hey, can we take care of this now? Is there, here's a secret word. Here's a secret word for those that are in, in countries where this is open. Not that I would ever, uh, not that I would ever advocate this, but, you know, under the international regulations, it's called a facilitation fee. So all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, just tell them, Hey, is there any way we can take care of this right now? It, like, you know, whenever they go to arrest you, be like, hey, is there any way I can take care of this right now? There you go. Hashtag not legal advice. I'm just saying. It goes a long way. Goes a long way. People out there who know, know. People who know, know. All right. Uh, Thailand is a country where the national sport is kicking people in the head. Perfect place to F around and find out some people are so dumb. Yes, yes. I, I would highly, having you know lived in Thailand and knowing Thailand very well, do not fuck around in Thailand. Like, they will send you to Klong Prem. And the Thai, if you've seen a Thai prison, they're bad. Filipino prisons are bad too. Thai prisons are worse though. Like, they are worse. Which is good because you shouldn't be committing crime. They're, they're very accepting. Until you commit a crime. The lonely uh, Kakapo says he seems to have set himself the goal of getting the stuffing kicked out of him in every continent. Yes. Yes. Natasha said what needs to happen is Johnny and Mia go visit the Gaza Strip together on a humanitarian mission. I would just watch what happened there. With Johnny and Mia, both of them are getting roasted, if you know what I mean. 
Uh, QB says, can we ban him from traveling outside the U.S.? His behavior makes the rest of us look bad. We could take his passport. The U.S. could suspend his passport. That is true. It is possible. Tankrat said, a country needs to throw him in jail for 10 plus years and negotiate with the U.S. State Department to take his passport away and relate from trade for his release. Seriously. Seriously. There need to be consequences for these types of nuisance streamers. And they need to be hard consequences because these people are in a world of no consequences. Uh, Scorpio Black Dragon says, in some parts of the South, he'd be gator food. Yes. Uh, Einhander says, so wait, he's in Israel? Since, since he's so close, maybe you should try that in Gaza. Just saying. It would go a lot worse in Gaza. Uh, Jim Blaze says, I've watched at least 48 hours of your streams in the past 36 hours. Guess I'm watching more now. Hey, see, here I was thinking my, my time off or my delays was giving you guys a chance to catch up. You know, it's doing you guys a favor. Chaos Smash said, cops should have dragged him by his ankles face down. Indeed, indeed. Um, and then... Matsuka the gaming says, please keep our little sister Shondo in your thoughts. She's going through some mental issues right now and be away for a bit. Oh, that is, you know what? Not a sin. I cannot absolve you. Mega based. Hope they are all right. Uh, Jin, oh no, got the one from New Blaze. Marksman says, urban youth gonna urban. At least they found out. That's right. Hound says, we need a soundbite of a VTuber saying pretty cringe. Oh, if you find one, clip it and send it to me. I will definitely, I will definitely use that. It sounds like a great idea, actually. It sounds like a perfect idea. Um, now, all right. I okay. So, oh yeah, here we go. One more from Gordo Gamer. Gordo Gamer says he's on his way to being banned from all of Asia or he'll be stuck behind bars somewhere. Either one. He he's gonna be, he's gonna be hurt at some point. Seriously. Some guy is gonna come up. He's a small little kid. He's a little manlet. Somebody's going to come up and just absolutely beat the shit out of this guy. Like, seriously. And that's not going to be pretty. I don't wish that upon him or anybody, really. Um, anybody at all. Um, okay, somebody said they sent me a clip. I'm not seeing it here, though. So if you sent me a clip, we'll see it. Now, um, what I want to read is the Helldivers um, contract but it's actually kind of long. So maybe we'll do a little preview. So what, what I wanted to do is cause all you guys and, and you know, I'll probably have another stream to catch up on this because I know I want to do it in detail, but since all of your Oshis are playing hell divers, you know, we got Doki over here playing hell divers and, and she's actually really awesome about it. Right. Uh, and, and her streams are so fun. Her hell divers stream are so fun. Um, and you've got the in game kind of story where you've got, to read the wall, the wall of text. And when you go past it, it's like when you, once you read it, it's accepted. It's automatically accepted, right? Now, some spurgs on the internet, and I love internet spurgs. I love you. Love you guys. Uh, went and they got all of the text from this and they put it in the wiki. They put it in the wiki, Right. So I want to read this, but this is going to take me way longer than the 10 minutes I have before I have to leave. So because of that, uh, I will do it on the next stream. <laughs> and also I have to change the name. Here, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm going to change the name to, to Johnny Somali and Johnny Somali arrest reaction. Okay. So I'll make sure I, truth in advertising, truth in advertising, right? Um, so we're going to have to do that. People are like scammed, unsubscribed. I could try to speed read, but it would be, it would be a lot. It's, it's too much. I, I would not get past one section. I'm looking at this right now. It's not, it's not possible. <laughs> I thought it was, I thought it was. Spurg's going to spurg. Um, like I said, traveling here and, uh, getting stuff down into a concrete time it's always hard, but I do have a message here from locals, which is from uh, Niche Niche Ocelot for five. Who says, "Hey Andrew, hopefully your Airbnb is far away from the Apple River. We are altercations happening there." Wait, what? What? Okay, thank you, Niche Ocelot. Appreciate that. Um, 
Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. But seriously, though, I do really appreciate you guys stopping by. I'm going to do that next time. Uh, I'll Also, guys, please send me topics, anything you want me to cover, else that you want me to cover from VTuber land. We're going to have a lot, uh, a lot coming out there. Um, and also, I will have my interview. I've been busy, so I haven't had time to schedule it. But I will, um, I will have an interview with Aviel of Idol. That is coming up. So to look forward to the Helldivers contract, my interview of Aviel. Uh, yeah. Um, other than that, guys, smash the like button. Make sure you guys stay tuned. I will definitely be back for this, guys, and really appreciate you guys uh, coming here and supporting me today. 1,600 of you in the chat today. It's been awesome. Neon and Geeky Sparkles of Clownfish TV have worked with Webtoons. They like what I value insight into Webtoons and publishing world. Yes, I'll reach out to them. I have their email, so I'll reach out to them and uh, hit them up. They're really cool people, and I love their channel. Um, can you cover game scraping BS on ULAs? Uh, Mizu, Mizu, send me that link and I will look into that. Other than that, guys, later alligators. I will catch you on the next one. Peace. Maybe I have a chance.